Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Official Clarissa on YouTube. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Official Clarissa. Thank y'all so much for supporting me. I know it looks weird. I'm in my bathroom. So I've been picking up on this solar plexus problem, my stomach. So somebody here could be like insecurity. Okay, they say insecurities. So this could be somebody insecurity. Somebody here could be insecure about themselves. And they're going to come towards you. They want to come towards you. Something. Let's see. What is this uh, solar plexus uh, issue with my stomach? I'm trying to see what this is. Yeah, abundance. Okay, y'all could be coming into y'all abundance here. Y'all could be needed to get out of your comfort zone. Um, Yeah, y'all could be needed to come out of your comfort zone here. And you guys, are you guys going to come into some money? Okay, I'm looking at this picture. Somebody here could be trying to steal your money. So I see this little girl right here. Could be a little girl trying to come in and steal your money. Yeah, for sale. Somebody could be trying to sell your house that you live in. Yeah, somebody here lost their money. Somebody could be crying because they think you a little girl and you stole their money or something like that. We going what else is this energy? What's this? Okay, what's this? Uh, what is this abundance card? Accept this man needs to accept that they can't steal your abundance. Yeah, somebody could be crying. Somebody could be need to focus on their roots. What else is this? You got A A. Somebody here could be first name could be an A. What else is this energy right here? Please thank you. Somebody needs to accept that you are who you say you are. Yeah, creation, because you are a creator. You create stuff here. Somebody here needs to accept that you are very abundant. You are about your money. You are about what you say you are. Yeah, something is coming to a, into a completion here. Your abundance could be coming into a completion. Yeah, somebody here is guilty. They try to stop your abundance. They try to make you walk away from your abundance. They try to make you walk away from yourself, from your life purpose. Two to two on the clock. Can I see what this is abundance is? What is this abundance? What is this abundance? Emperor. So this could be an Aries Taurus here. That could be trying to make you walk away from your abundance. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Y'all guys could be an air sign. You guys could be dealing with the air signs. You're not even crazy. You guys could be in this emperor status energy. Y'all could be this emperor energy. What else with this Queen of Swords and the Emperor? Who is this, uh, what is this energy talking about? What is this sort of crisis? Karmic feminine. So this Aquarius energy. Okay, I'm getting, this could be an Aquarius. Yeah, for what somebody could want to come in and live with you or somebody could have came to your home. Yeah, about a king of wands. 313 on the clock. Yeah, because somebody here could be getting some type of money. Somebody here is trying to stop or some type of money. Somebody's trying to stop you from being with somebody. The tower in reverse, you didn't, you didn't go through this situation. Okay, what is this tower in reverse? What's the tower in reverse? Or the, what's the tower in reverse? That, um, yeah, there's no conflict. Somebody can't bring conflict or hostilities to you. This is Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Page of Swords in reverse. Somebody could be trying to make you walk towards somebody else. This King of Wands energy. Yeah, they had no victory doing this. My hair trying to make a love offer to you. What's it? Yeah, what's the page? Yeah, Ace of Wands. Epiphany, good news, excitement, traveling, creative spark. You're going to be getting some type of good news from somebody? Two. Yeah, somebody here wants to work on a commitment. People going to be mad that somebody here wants to work on a commitment with you. The two of pentacles and three ones. My hair is trying to make you seem like you a uh, you pop lock and drop it on a lot of people. Like you a, a H O E and stuff like that, and they guilty. They try to make you seem like you're crazy and stuff like that too. <sighs> yes, to make you single. So my hair is trying to make you uh, make come into your mouth. Yeah, feminine in reverse. This didn't happen though. Somebody here also could have been trying to make a love offer to your mask, but it didn't work. Somebody here could have been trying to come to you about your masculine, but it didn't work. 
Now they feel guilty because they can't change your mind about this person. Because they single. They could be trying to be friends with you to be around this person. Yeah, this is God's plan. God's plan. Yeah, you moving forward. You overcoming these obstacles that people try to push you through. You overcoming a lot of things here. I feel like this is what God wanted you to do. He wants you to go through this situation for you to know that people are not always genuine about your relationships with him. As well as being in a relationship when it comes to being with somebody here. It's my need to accept that, yeah, that this magic, whatever they try to do, hocus pocus try to do, it ain't work. Somebody could have been trying to lure you in to their problems. That's exactly what they're trying to do to make you hold on to them uh, so they can hold on to you, so they can hold on to your money, your finances, your stability, whatever. What they're trying to hold on to, your energy. What this person, what is karmic friend trying to hold on to? They're trying, to, they're trying to hold on to your money, yo. Trying to collab with you. Trying to be friends with you. Because of the King of Wands. This man you could be dealing with. You could be with somebody. This person could want to know who you're dealing with. Who you sleep with. Oh, it's a car flipped over here. Yeah. This person could be trying to play victim now. They try to come in and be friends with you because of a king of wands. Somebody that you're dating, you're talking to. Somebody here could want to date your cousin. This could be a brother, your uncle, or something like that. Yeah, so they could get some type of good fortune because they see what this person rolling in. They see he got a good car, good money. Yeah, somebody here not using their intuition because they, they mad that you not give it to them. They mad that you dealing with a masculine and you not give it to them. Somebody here wants this man to give to them. Yes, my wants to collab, but they know because they know they instability. They know they getting these three of pentacles. They know their life is the three of pentacles. They know they, they run out of money. They run out of time for something. What they run out of time for? What they run out of time for? Because they trying to sexually heal somebody, but it didn't work. It's my hair trying to lure a man in. To call to to latch on to them to to cause some type of conflict construction stuff like that. But this person needs to love themselves. Okay, what can we get for this energy here? Somebody needs to heal, bro. Heal, heal, heal. That's what we got the healing cards for. Action. My divine action incites love and harmony. I am aware of my thoughts and driven by positive forces. I listen to my heart. My desire to manifest light transforms test into growth, challenge into opportunity, and fear into love. And then, that's the that's this card. Somebody needs to take action to love themselves. And then we got serenity. Uh, I'm getting a serenity prayer. So you could you need to accept the things that you cannot change. And the courage to change the, and the courage to blah, 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 and the courage to change change the things that you can. <laughs> no, I can't say it. Okay. So we got serenity. Through love, release and inner work. Release and inner work. I know peace. I have gentle a view of life and welcome every step into with confidence. I welcome every step into confidence with confidence. I remain brave in the face of fear and have the wisdom to let the universe do its work. So it's my need to just release and let go. Yeah, everything turns into light. So anything in the dark turns into light, period. Let's get one of these cards with this solar plexus energy. My hair feels low self-esteem, have low confidence. I feel like this person needs to love themselves. My hair shaped the heart um, into a soap up in here. So, yes, my hair needs to love themselves. What do I believe about money? Do my beliefs match my dreams? So, so my hair could be looking at your money, your finances, and stuff like that. To see, look, they like, they comparing themselves to you. And then they, they try to be like you or something like that. And then they try to go and find a man that will accept them as the way that you are. Like being in your light and stuff. How does your relationship with money affect your current situation? Do you believe you are worthy? Do you believe you are co compatible? Do you trust money? Do you do, Does money trust you? Money is an energy. 
it um, it ebbs and follows. You are worthy of it. And it's your responsibility to heal your relationship with money. You're going to have to go to another bathroom. Oh. As part of your waking up to the whole of you and your purpose. Today's soul action. Take a deep dive into your belief system around money. Are there my beliefs you need to upgrade to create the result you want you are wanting most in your life write out your money story it is time for a, a sacred shift what will your next uh, chapter be so someone here needs to be grateful at what they have they need to be grateful that money is energy and it flows and you are worthy of it and you could be needed to fight for your money what do i believe about money do my beliefs match my dreams what passion am I ready to pursue? Your passions will continually lead you to your purpose. What passions have you put to the side, given up on, or buried? What passion is ready to come alive in you? So somebody could be awakening to their purpose, what they're supposed to do. They could be needed to knit something together, mold something together. This could be fashion, fashion designer, freedom through faith. I'm going to read that after. So it says, today's soul's action. Write a list of, pa of the passions to which you want to give life right now. Not, um, right now. Then journal how you can incorporate more of what you are passionate about into your daily life. So you give is what you receive back. Trust your soul's whispering and let your passions draw you towards your dream life. Okay, so when was the last time I danced freely? So my hand needs to be more openly, freely dance, shake it off. Tara Swift, shake it off. Okay, because it will shift you into a beautiful state. Because it will get you out of your head into your body and heart. Because fear lives in the head along with anxiety, control, guilt, frustration, and impatience. In just a few minutes of dancing, you will make the shift. You will feel a charge of joy and confidence take over, and you uh, will feel uh, a soul confirmation uh, message, a soul reminder to live and lead from your heart. Dancing is a tool to ground us in the now. It triggers happiness, and it is the gateway to freedom. Y'all see that blink that happened to become free and dance. Dance for three minutes to your favorite song. Notice that you are um, confirmation. Somebody gonna call you. Somebody gonna send you a message. Notice the inward free fire grow within and the feeling you feel being you. You are a wild loving force. Express it with dance today. Okay, so we got freedom through faith. I got guided to read this one. So calm, I calm my thoughts and rise above fear. I fear myself of all doubt by entrusting my doubts to God. I have faith in God's perfect timing and placement. I trust his will and find freedom. So my name is trusting God that God works in, that he is a wonderful source. What else could this mean? So my name could be down the... So my name here is downing God. And like, when my time will be, when will this happen? When will that happen? You just have to believe, let go, and let God dance it off, shake it off, do whatever you got to do. If I had a magic wand and could have every anything I desire in life, what would I choose? So somebody could be doing magic, like I said. Somebody could be trying to do magic to get what they want in life. That doesn't matter. That's, that's not how life works. You can't try to use magic and think magic going to work on every aspect of your life because it doesn't. Okay, let's get one card from this deck. The uh, eyes through the soul. Okay, accept the opportunity that is offered. So somebody needs to accept the opportunity that's getting offered to them. It could be a it could be a love, a love offer. Smart oh this person could think that whoever you're dealing with is their man. They think that they divine from they think that they are who you are. So they think that she that they should have your man 14, 44 in the clock. How they gonna try to be like you and try to disrupt you to get to this person to be like you when they try to destroy you when they need you? 
What? Somebody have to be 19 because they're trying to be like you for this person. So why they trying to destroy you when they need you for this person? Does it make any sense? A new door is opening. Step over the threshold. 28. Somebody here could be 19. Somebody here could be also doing magic to get whatever they want. They feel like they should get whatever they want when it comes to a man. They could be trying to fall victim. Oh, I want this. I need this. This is my man. I don't know why she has my man. Somebody could be calling you the karmic film. If y'all an uh, air sign, a gym, I could go crazy. Somebody here could be calling you the karmic. And they say, oh, I'm divine film. But they're trying to be like you. They trying to be like you. Why are you calling me karmic? Hmm? Huh? Doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, right? Because they know that they are karmic. Let's get one of these cards. Please and thank you, God. Thank you for this message today. Thank you for the abundance, the freedom, the growth. Oh, shoot. Okay, so y'all could be working on a creative project. Let's get one card for this energy that we have picked up on. Okay, so we got a child here. Somebody could be, be pregnant. Somebody here could be birthing a child. Somebody here also could be getting pregnant to end up having a child. There could be, like I said, there's a child significant to this energy here. Am I letting, am I letting fear stop me? Yeah, somebody here is letting fear stop them. So let's go ahead and read these cards here. Child, you care deeply about children and they re readily respond to your love. So somebody here has children. This person has children. They can feel like these children are in their way of their of a man. It could be a sugar daddy. Somebody could be talking to a sugar daddy. Could be trying to lure in a sugar daddy, an Aries Taurus, a Taurus man here. Okay, so let's let's read this card. All children, including your own inner child, that's why I said dads be freely, have a smile on your face, um, present to the world what you want in return. Okay, so all children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. Somebody could be neglecting their own kids and trying to be like you. Somebody could also be neglecting their kids to a man. Trying to be with a man. They feel like, that's what I said, they feel like their kids is in the way of who they're supposed to be with. They could be falling victim. Somebody here needs to focus on a, uh, somebody here could be trying to lower a man in by doing love spells. Because I see the sacral chakra here. In the solar plexus, somebody got insecurities, too. And they follow their heart. They need to follow their heart and their roots, their intuition, 1818. Okay, so then there go kids again. What's this movie with a dude? It's called Stork, Storks. Somebody could be watching that movie where the, uh, paint, the big old bird like this could be carrying the kids. Y'all could be needed to watch that movie to get back in your childhood. Somebody here could have had a child when it was a child. Okay, so change in direction. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness. So somebody could be pregnant. Um, to somebody could be finding out they that they are pregnant with somebody else's child or with somebody child. This could be somebody brother child instead of this person who they supposed to be with child. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, um, divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy uh, outcomes you desire. Listen. And we got perfect timing. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying the exact nature of your desires manifestations. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our response to you, request to you, listen. 
Yeah, Mr. Perfect timing for a situation. Everything is going in divinely guided time. So just listen to your heart, listen to your intuition, listen to your gut. Okay. It's all about timing, timing, timing. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Have a blessed day. Stay safe out there. Bye.